There are all kinds of water motives in there. At least there are two big ones. Um, when the lower parts have the ba da da ba da da ba de 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 de, you think of those as waves because that's what's happening. The waves building up, boom. And the other one is the when you go da 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 de, that's water pouring down. De a a a a. And that's what I also, if that imagery might uh, impact on how you think about um, playing those passages. So think of, look for the wave moments in the piece because they're in there, the water moments. Was it hard choosing which instruments would play what parts? One thing you like to do is, as a composer, is distribute the material around so everybody gets a chance to play some of the melody. If you look at the score, at, at some time in the piece, every single instrument had either the main uh, chorus melody, da ba da da da, or bum 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 ba da da. Think about that in your part. You at least had one of those two uh, at one time or the other. And so, if we if we were to look at the structure, you know, we have. Um, Here's the main theme. Now, if I move that down here, and over that, I can put the chorus melody that goes like this. Da, da, da. Okay, you can see this is the, we'll call this melody A. We can put melody A down here, and here's melody B, or the verse, and that fits perfectly right over this. And so I'm going to put these in the higher instruments the flute, the clarinet, they're going to have those. And I'm going to put these in the low instruments the trombones, the baritones. Bum, 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 bum. And, and, and so you put these two things together and you got a powerful structure. So that was what uh, impacted on my decision. There was another uh, decision, and that was the little counter motives. You know, you've got guys going da da da, da da da, you know the wave motives I was talking about? Okay, so they look like this da da da. Um, and or da di di, let's let's do it right. <laughs> um, da da da. So we have that going on. So these little waves, and then of course we have the big descending waves that go di da di da, and with the famous blues note <laughs> that I wanted to get in. My name is Keith, and I wanted to know how this composition compares with other pieces you've written. In other compositions, you usually don't have the guidelines for writing for a middle school band. I mean, what happens is most classically trained composers are, have had the fortune or misfortune of being taught only how to write for people like the New York Philharmonic or something like that. And um, being able to write effectively for an educational situation is also a high skill. And I learned a lot from this process. You know, I feel I could write another middle school band piece and know what I was doing. So your performing the piece actually taught me how to write effectively for you. See? I already know how to write for the Virginia Symphony. But to write effectively for you, and you're as valuable as the Virginia Symphony, that's another whole technique. Okay? So um, it was a good experience. How does it feel to make your own piece of music? Exciting. It's <laughs> my, my, my great fun activity. In fact, it was something I was doing this morning before coming over here. Um, I love to write music and uh, then having it come to life. See, because, see, composers don't actually make music. They only write out the instructions for making music. And it takes talented young people like yourselves to make the music come to life. So. It's a two-part process. It's a collaboration. I put the notes down, you guys play them, and we've had a musical experience together that's wonderful.
What do you like most about being a composer? I think the best part about being a composer is actually working with the groups, the musicians. Um, I like putting the sounds together. That's fun. But it's not as much fun when you're working alone in the studio. And then you get to go in with a, a group of musicians like the band here and uh, hear them put the piece together. And I love talking to the musicians, finding out what works, making adjustment. And it's kind of fun afterwards, I think, also talking to the audience. It's fun sharing. But actually, it sounds kind of simple, but that's what composing is. Another question? Um, how did you become interested in being a composer? You know, I became interested in being a composer through band. I was a flute player first, like some of you, and uh, I thought it was kind of interesting. My, my, I had a teacher, a really good teacher named Judy Bentley, who said to me one day in a lesson, I want you to write a piece. And I said, well, how do you write a piece of music? I, I had no idea. I mean, I'd always played it, but I didn't know how you wrote a piece of music. She said, well, here, just write a little line here, and you can add a flute line. She had me write a flute and piano piece. And after I did, I thought, wow, this is really cool. It was kind of a neat thing. It's a little bit like, I think, what painters go through. You know, you draw when you're a kid, but then fun, suddenly someone gives you a lot of paints and you get to create a lot of colors. It's the same thing for composing. And I have to confess, after I wrote that first piece, that I was kind of hooked. I was like, oh, this is kind of nice, combining sounds. What can I make this sound like? So I continued playing flute, but then I started writing a lot of music. If you could give us tips on anything that could help us if we wanted to start writing. Music. Yeah, you know what? The first thing to realize when you're a composer is it's basically just combining sounds. And in your piece, that's really apparent because I have you playing music stands. Which you probably never thought about playing a music stand, right? Well, I thought it was kind of an interesting idea to have you do something besides just play your instrument because composing is combining sounds. But what you basically have to do is just get some people together. You could put together a piece for just clapping or, or kitchen bowls or glasses. And I just write the music down so you can share it with people because if it's in my head, it, it won't tell you what you need to do if you're playing a duet with me. So you can write anything down. You don't actually have to know a ton of rules. It's just combining sounds and making them sound interesting. You could start writing right now. You could actually come up with a piece right now. It's not as hard as you think. I mean, even if you had someone walking along who was just snapping their finger, which is something that's in this piece, you could have people saying syllables over the top or going ba, 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 and have someone add something over the top of that. That's what composing is, just creating layers of sound. And you don't even have to have a clarinet or a flute. You can do it with any kind of sound. That's kind of how music got started in the first place. But yeah, all of you could be composers. Just like have notes, like think about a note, like any kind of note, and just put them all together. That's it exactly. Any kind of note, and you know, your piece has a lot of rhythm. It has a lot of what we call ostinato, so there are patterns that repeat. It sometimes helps if you have a repeated pattern, and then you lay music over the top of. You can have all kinds of sounds going on. So, but that's basically how everyone who's ever written music. That's how they put it together. I'm going to ask you to think of um, a sound in your mind. Just an abstract sound. I don't mean like a mooing of a cow or something like that, but just an abstract sound. And then think of a mark that you might make that would represent that sound. If you're going to make a mark on the blackboard. And as soon as somebody has a sound in mind, let's imagine this is a soundscape up here. And let's say the soundscape begins here and it ends over here. And this is as high as, as for, for your voice, thinking of, so that's the instrument we have right here right now is your voice. This is as high as your voice can go, it's as low as it, as it can go. So if you're going to put your sound up here, well, Okay, now uh, sing that song for us. Wow. Okay. So now, here, I'll, I'll, Daniel, I'll give you, this, give you this chalk here, and you just hand it to the next person who wants to make a sound up here. But now understand something. There's, when Daniel put a sound up here, there was no sound before that. Now there's a sound. So you sh I, I'd like you to think of a sound 
or how you'd place your sound or a new sound in relation to this sound. Before it, after it, what you'd like to hear because this is here. Okay, sing it. Wow, do 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 do. Okay. Anybody? Okay, so it goes wow, do 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 da. Okay. That's wow, do 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 do. Wow, la. La? Yeah, like twa. Okay. But th this is, you see, you, you hear that as la. Okay. Like a, like a big, full, like high la. Do it. La. Okay. <laughs> like a lot of people, like full. Like full or thick. But in one line like that, la. No, like, like in a circle, like oh. wow. Okay, there. That's yeah. what I'm looking Because I'm looking for something that sounds like it looks. So go ahead. Okay. Wow or wow. Wow, like that kind. Yeah. Okay, more. Make it more. Wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at this a second now, and and because uh, there'll be a certain point at which you want to you want to stop and you want to end it, which means you you need to ask a question: When is enough enough? And uh, another question would be: Is does it need something? I mean. Um, are you satisfied? Or do you say, no, there's something it needs, and I want to do that? Okay. Make it a little darker. Okay. So, here's. Da 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 da. Swish. Wa da. Wow. Da 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 da. La ding. Okay. I mean, you know I'm a composer. And this is what I do. The only thing I do differently from what you've done here is, is that I'm more specific than you were. Because when you go like this, for example, we don't know how high that's going to go. And when you go like this, wow, we don't know how loud that's going to get before it comes down again. But that's what. I will do in a score with notation. And you know about treble clefs, for example, and bass clefs. <laughs> I Looks like this got left out of the <laughs> out of the piece here. I don't know what to do with that one. <laughs> wow! I guess it'd be kind of a... It's kind of like this one here, actually, if it's the way you were singing it and the way you were talking about it. Um, a whole note crescendo. Huh? Yeah. A whole note crescendo? Wow! Okay. Or, or yeah, like, or percussion could play that. Mm -hmm. Percussion could play that. Yeah. It would still be a whole note. Like a... Like a well, all right. But, uh, but I think, yeah. I think that it's something like a whole note crescendo, kind of fast. Wow, or something, isn't it? So, I mean, it would be kind of a... Um, and even Daniel's like, ding at the end, it could be like the bells or something. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he made here? it like short, but kind of like, but loud, short yeah. And sweet. You mean this one <laughs> yeah. you mean? Yeah. yeah. This one here? Okay. So, bang. And say SF there, meaning very loud. Well, so you see, and it suddenly it becomes what we think of as being music. But it was music before I wrote these notes in there. Because that's the essence of what a piece of music is. It's a conception of what something starts somewhere, it develops into something, and finishes or trails off or whatever it does. But it, it, you develop a, satisf a satisfying set of musical events so that you want to go back and hear it again and again and again and again. And that's what music is. I mean, musical composition. I don't mean a tune, you know, like a pop tune. This would be like a, uh, the, could be the basis for a piece for orchestra, for example. You could have, like I have a piece of music that starts to go, it goes, wah, like that, with the whole orchestra doing that. 
And it would be very easy to, I mean, it would, take, it would take about three or four days or maybe a week to write that one bar. Wah! For the whole orchestra. Because you've got to write gitty, 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 all these different notes on all these different levels. And you go nuts. You know, by the time you get that, that bar done, you might forget what you wanted for bar two. But if you just go, uh, write, just, just go whoosh, on a piece of paper and then go on to the next thing, you know what that's going to be. And you're going to go back and fill that in with something specific. And you can get on and you can get your shape. And so using graphics like this gives you a shape. 